on the platform, uh, the media, our communications, parliamentary communications, and everybody on the platform. Good morning. <clears throat> uh, today, uh, we are basically meeting to consider the uh, the report on the appropriation uh, uh, bill 2023. <clears throat> But all members, um, before we proceed, uh, Darren, do we have apologies? No, Chairperson, we didn't receive any apologies. Okay, that's 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 fine. Um, <clears throat> as far as this bill is concerned, is the is the culmination of the process started by the Minister of Finance when he presented a budget to Parliament. He presented a number of bills including the Division of Revenue Bill, uh, the 2023 Adjustment uh, Appropriation Bill, uh, <clears throat> the 2023 Debt, uh, SCOM Debt Relief Bill, and then uh, the Appropriation Bill. So these are the bills that we have dealt with since the beginning of, 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 of the year. So we're dealing with the Appropriation Bill now, and we, we are going to consider the report. Um, or remember, just just flight the, the 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 agenda, Darren, so that we can see it. I have it in front of me, but just for let's let's just have the agenda flighted. Are you winning, Darren? Thank, thank you. <clears throat> so, um, okay, just a second, just stop there. Uh, as you can see, agenda number three is consideration of recommendations on the 2023 appropriation bill by the <clears throat> by the PC on 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 on, on tourism, <clears throat> and then uh, all the other things that we deal with as far as the the consideration of the report is concerned. But let me give a, 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 a brief background to agenda item number three. Uh, we received a letter last week um, from uh, the speaker on a matter concerning uh, the portfolio committee uh, on tourism. So that letter was referred to us um, <clears throat> um, so that we, we could consider how we proceed uh, with the issues which were raised there. So I don't know, Darren, whether you are able to to flight that letter. It's a, it's a short letter, uh, so that uh, just to jog the memories of the oral members. The letter was referred to all 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 of us, <clears throat> and then uh, we will let you know what we did about the letter. Darren, please uh, the letter, and you will read it when when you are having it on the on the screen. Just to remind members, um, not unless you have got the uh, connectivity problems, you are always encouraged to have your, your, your videos on uh, when you speak. Are we winning, Darren? Yes, Chair, I'm, I'm trying for some reason. It it's not appearing on the list of things that I can fly, but it is open. Um, okay. There you go. Please just, just read the letter for us. It's not a long letter. Uh, motion of the National Assembly recommendations arising from the report of the Portfolio Committee on Tourism on Budget Vote 38. I draw your attention to the motion of the National Assembly, which was adopted on 30 May 2023. Accordingly, the Assembly approved the referral to the Standing Committee on Appropriations, uh, the following matters for consideration in the report. The budget... Uh, the budget for Vote 38 Tourism be approved, but no further funds must be transferred to the South African Tourism until the following conditions have been met. 
The targets in the annual performance plan of South African tourism have been revised. The vacancies at executive level of South African tourism are filled and the delegation of authority taken by the board in the letter of 27 April 2023 has been reversed and given back to the executives at the South African tourism. Please note that these matters were extracted from the recommendations in the report of the Portfolio Committee on Tourism on Budget Vote 38, Tourism, the procedure in the Money Bills Amendment Procedures and Related Matters Act, as envisages that, the, that a committee proposing changes to a money bill or budget vote must consult with the Standing Committee on Appropriations, which is the committee that can finally amend the bill. The budget may only be amended by way of the procedure set out in the Act. Kindly forward a report of the Standing Committee on Appropriations on its position regard, regarding these conditions as set out by the Portfolio Committee. Copies of the ATC containing the Portfolio Committee report and minutes of the proceedings of the National Assembly of 30 May are attached. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Thank you, uh, the, 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 the Speaker of Parliament. Thank you, thank you, Darren. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let 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 me talk to uh, to what then transpired after that. When we received this, uh, we referred to this to the uh, to to the legal uh, department for advice, uh, who came back to us and said the the right body to advise on this one was the parliamentary budget office, uh, which we did, um, and then we did receive a recommendation from PBO. I then requested um, <clears throat> uh, the director of PBO, Dr. Janchis, uh, to come in and, and quickly, uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but quickly uh, uh, brief the committee about their recommendations, which they forwarded to us. So I just thought it's better when we hear it from the horse itself. In this case, uh, Dr. Janchis. Dr. Janchis, please come in. You are most welcome with your team. Uh, good morning, Chairperson. Uh, good morning, members. Uh, the horse is cold this morning, Chairperson. <laughs> Hope you are well this morning. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. I don't know if you can hear me. I hope you can. Darren, please, please uh, uh, take, uh, remove, remove the letter, right, so that we can see the uh, the horse. Okay. Thank you. You are most welcome, um, uh, <clears throat> Doc. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I think some of the team members would have joined in the platform. I'm struggling. I'm using the mobile phone, so I can't see who's on or who's not. But thank you so much for, for the opportunity to really uh, give a view on what we have done. I think, um, you know, I want to first start by clarifying, also emphasizing that uh, the Parliamentary Budget Office was invited to give input and advice the portfolio committee on this matter under quite, I would say, restricted timelines, you know, because I think it was, it was just towards the tail end of the financial stage. So our, our work was very restricted in that regard. But nevertheless, we, it was very important for us to advise the committee and parliament in this regard. And as a result, Chair, you'll see, thank you so much. I see Darren has circulated the, the, the brief, very short brief advice on this matter. Uh, to members, but I'll just quickly summarize some of the key issues and, and our uh, our views and our advice to portfolio committee to stay included on appropriations, but also for parliament as a whole. I think as a result of uh, we, we of the stricter timelines, we focused our advice on a specifically on the on the recommendation 6.1 of the budget report of the portfolio committee, as it has been quoted by the speaker's letter, as Darren read earlier on. I think looking at the portfolio committee's, um, you know, budget report deliberations, there are governance and, 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 and oversight matters that have been raised about the, the Department of Tourism and the South African Tourism Agency as well. And from the report itself, chair and members and colleagues, these are matters seems to be fairly issues that an oversight body like parliament would expect to raise and really worry about and expect um, account from the, the the departments and the agency in this regard. We asked the, the committee, patrol committee, to take, take note that, um, appropriations committee, to take note that people has not been privileged 
uh, to you know, to the rest of the portfolio committee's engagements on the report and other reject matters. So as I said, just to emphasize, came in quite later on. The National Assembly table and the portfolio committee's content advisor were in position to determine um, how uh, to facilitate, how engage, how can fell engage with the com portfolio committee, a chairperson, and, and how that would hold. But that has not taken place as yet, as this brief was, this brief was meant to advise the committee in this regard. In our view, Chair and members, uh, these oversight matters have not been addressed by the department, and um, you know, you know, and have to be addressed. So I think the point here is that these oversight matters, in our view, has been raised by the portfolio committees on the department and, and the agency. They have to be addressed at the satisfaction of the portfolio committee on tourism and parliament at large. We are yet to be provided with the, the department on entities' correspondence or re response to some of the cons or concerns raised by the committee in this regard. And I think when we get that, we'll also update our, 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 our advice to parliament in this regard. Our advice uh, in, in this regard, chair and members and colleagues, was premised really within the various contexts. You know, uh, context here is that understanding, first part of the context, that understanding that the portfolio committee yeah. Uh, Chairperson, yeah, just just make sure that uh, we are very clear about the two committees: the portfolio committee and and the standing committee on appropriations. Portfolio committee, tourism, and yes. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank, thank you so much. I, 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 that's very uh, helpful, Chairperson. I think I was saying, um, in our view, I think the point I wanted to emphasize: our view on these oversight matters raised by the portfolio committee. Uh, about the department and the South African tourism, uh, they have to be addressed between the portfolio committee of tourism and, and, and parliament with the, the department and, and, and the agency, because in our view, these are very uh, 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 fairly matters that uh, require serious oversight and departments and, and the committee has to really get uh, satisfaction in the response or dealing with those by the department. Portfolio committee on tourism in this regard. We have not yet uh, provided an opportunity to, uh, to see or to understand whether the Department of Tourism uh, or agency itself have they responded to some of these matters at the stage. Uh, and as soon as we get that, we'll also engage the portfolio committee on tourism, what has been the, 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 the correspondence in this regard. I was saying our advice in this regard is premised from the very uh, uh, context of understanding where we are and understanding that the Portfolio Committee on Tourism's budget report has limited authority in terms of the, uh, you know, I don't know which word to use, but yes, you do it with authority, in terms of the Money Bills and Related Matters Act uh, or Appropriations Bill Approval or the amendments thereof. So the, that uh, authority lies with Portfolio Standing Committee on Appropriations. However, as I said, on broad oversight, Portfolio Committee on Tourism may use the report and has. Um, as it has all the authority to subpoena department and agents and anybody else to address the concerns that they've raised within broad oversight uh, expectation in that regard. We believe that the Money Bills Act in another context, we believe that the Money Bills Act has to be uh, implemented to give effect to in our view, as it is empowers parliament to amend the budget. Uh, but I think, you know, you'll see in our report some of the concerns that some of these measures has to be tested, has to be put into test in this regard. There has to be clear processes and rules or mechanisms that allows um, the engagement between the committees, portfolio committees and the appropriations committees when the time comes, particularly when you look at the, the, the discussion now, where we are now with the committee. One of the examples to say, at what stage should portfolio committees engage with the committee on appropriations if they need to, to, to propose amendments and maybe can that be done earlier and what are the process to, to take it? One of the example, I, I, which is not in the report, which I noted that at the, at, at the, provincial, at the provincial level, at the local uh, provincial, provincial legislature level, I've seen the, their money bills, uh, developing their money bills, they've developed in a way that the portfolio committees or functional committees are able to engage with the, or participate as part of the, um, part of the, Budget committee, which is uh, a proposed committee, on a regular basis, whereby some of the proposals to, of the amendments can be then in advance to allow um, the, the matters that comes. This is really a context from which this uh, report we believe we, we we gave out share and numbers. Looking at the recommendation 6.1 of the budget report, we looked at the Money Bills Act 
Section 10.5 and try to uh, uh, satisfy whether the South African terrorism is a subdivision of the department. And, and as the, the, the provisions of that act talks to a situation whereby the, the allocations or condition allocations proposed are to be given to a, a subdivision. And, and, and only if that can allow that committee to consider the budget recommendations once that satisfaction can be given. Looking at the various, um, we looked at the various public finance definitions because there wasn't specific clarification what is civil subdivision mean. It is not of, so obvious in that particular sense that is it agency, uh, is the South African tourism and a, a subdivision of the department. And clearly we went on to look at other uh, public finance regulations and frameworks to try to get to understand that, that definition and whether can it fit in, in that sense. We also looked at the, the 2023 um, NE, estimated expenditure, expenditure frameworks to recognize that actually South African tourism is a departmental agency in this regard. Therefore, uh, you know, looking at those various uh, uh, public finance ma management frameworks and regulations and also the NEE, the portfolio committee, uh, we def therefore say the portfolio, portfolio committee on tourism may not consider uh, the South African but as a departmental subdivision, but rather as an agency as it's defined within the, the NEE as well. But also we look at other broadly, given that all this not so obvious understanding what whether the money bills at section five meant to a situation like this. So it, it's we our advice of you is that it's it's probably more accessible to look at it within that context. So chair and members, the specific questions for the portfolio community tourism were whether transfers between the department um, and South African tourism can be considered transferred to be um, a department, uh, department divisional or not, if subdivision or not, and whether matters raised amount to the conditional appropriations as to be considered within the context of this of, of, of the Manipulous Act. And finally, Chair, in our conclusion, we, we, we advise in this regard to say, therefore conclude that our advice to portfolio committee on tourism as follows. Firstly, Money Bills Act does not necessarily provide um, an authority on a subdivision as much as the section 10.5 of the act refers to it in considering or proposing conditional locations in this regard. We relied upon other legislation, understand legislation and frameworks to understand the, 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 the subdivision context within the budget allocation context. And therefore, we will conclude that without a specific division or clarity in this regard, the SAT may not be considered within the subdivision, but as an agents, as a departmental agents, as, as it has been uh, shown in the, in the NEE. And therefore, the condition allocation spell out in provisions of uh, sections of the Money Bills 10.5 cannot necessarily be used in this regard. It is not, it is also, as I mentioned, it's also not uh, worth noting that NEE did classify SAT South African tourism within the context of it being a de de um, um, departmental agent. Although the transfers to SNT, uh, second, uh, uh, and second point to uh, second last point is that although the transfers to South African tourism may not be regarded as a conditional grant, uh, it is unclear as to whether the accounting office of the Department of Tourism has attached any conditions uh, to any departmental transfers or payment schedules, so any of this, given given the South African tourism as a under the Engines Money Bills Act in particular, will I mean the, the transfers in this regard will be better dealt with within that um, 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 uh, relation between the department and the, the agency itself, and more measures could be placed within the role of the country office and the department to to provide such. Um, oversight in that regard, but but of course, this is strictly speaking to the to the allocation, it's not necessarily talking about variety issues on on oversight. And the last point, chair and numbers, here yeah, we say, given the, 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 the serious nature of the matters raised by the Petrolio Committee on Tourism on the Department and Southern Tourism, we recommend that the committee, the Portfolio Committee on Tourism, consider other legislations or vari other regulatory framework to realize the objective of imposing conditions for to, to uh, agency transfers in this regard. And in our recommendation, we largely said the, the matter of um, uh, setting conditions or amending the budget should be uh, very considered by the committee going forward, committee on appropriations uh, going forward in this regard. Chair, I just took quite summary, that's one stop there to, to say we, we, in our view, 
the matters raised are genuine, has to be dealt with. However, cannot be dealt with within the, 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 the provisions set out in the Manifest Act in particular. But the broader question, Chair members, is how this section is operationalized in a more way that can be accessible by uh, portfolio, other portfolio committees or functional committees within Parliament as well. I want to stop there and thank you so much, Chair and members for, and colleagues for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Chanchis, thank you very much. Honorable members, uh, any take on uh, uh, what Dr. Chanchis had said and, and uh, the, the, the recommendations, which basically says uh, <clears throat> the matters being raised don't affect the, uh, the, 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 the budget and, and they, are, they do not need to be dealt with by uh, the, money, the money bills. So, but let's, let, let me check. Any quick take on this one? But you know, we know how we do it, or members. The Kwazin. Kaiso. Rabul Kaiso. Any other role member? Matafa. Rabul Matafa. Kwankwa. Rabul Kwankwa. Any other role member? Zana. No. Your own members. Thank you. Um, all members, let's let's not be too long-winded on, on, on this on, on this one. Um, without limiting you, please uh, uh, should go straight to the target. Honorable Paiso, start. Yes, thank you very much, uh, honorable chair uh, and members on the platform. Chair, without uh, any waste of time, I think we, we have received this briefing now from the Parliamentary Budget Office. And uh, it's a very clear uh, briefing and in its recommendation with regard to the matter which has been referred to the committee. I, I, I think as a committee, we need to take uh, this recommendation uh, as it's very clear that the matter is not uh, affecting the appropriations uh, committee, uh, given those reasons that I don't want to repeat. So, uh, because the committee is, we're dealing with the appropriation bill, which must be passed by the parliament. So given those reasons and, and recommendation, and I, I, I I want to propose that we, we live with this recommendation, accept this recommendation as a committee. Thank you very much, Chair. Honorable Kaiso, thank you very much. Honorable Matafa, please come in. Thank you, Chair. Now, good morning to yourself and uh, other members. Now, Chair, I think Honorable Kaiso is uh, correct. I will uh, leave it at his uh, recommendation. Safe to say that I'm aligned with him. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, thank you, Orobu Matafa. Orobu Nkwankwa. Chairperson, thank you very much. You will forgive me if I'm a bit long-winded. No, I just want to please. make it. But you said we must aim for the target. I don't know whether the target is the horse or the report, <laughs> but I think I want to go for both. Uh, well, Chair, on a serious note, I think, I think, I think we we have to help parliament develop a process of how to deal uh, with instances in future where, say for example, committees would want to make amendments to the appropriations bill. And I think the, the parliamentary budget office in particular has a central and a critical role to play. Perhaps what should happen in future is that when a committee flags that they would like to make an amendment to the appropriations bill, the Parliamentary Budget Office should first and foremost serve as a front runner, right? So that they have a better understanding of what the issues are before they are referred, and perhaps also provide guidance to the committee before the matter is referred, say to the Appropriations Committee. That way, at the very least, you are also minimizing the, you don't want to have create a perception that since we are the budget committee, then we're a super committee, right? Uh, we can willy-nilly at times dictate to other committees as to what they should seek to amend and what they should seek to do and whether that can be done or not. But if you get the committee appropriate, rather the budget, parliamentary budget office to work with that committee to trash out whatever issues they brought, uh, they want to raise before they are brought here, I think it would simplify the process in future. 
but also I think would have, have to work in terms of factoring the deadlines. Because if you read the legal opinion that talks about 10 days within which, say, a, a member of the executive or a minister would have to respond to some of the recommendations of the committee, if we are not, we have to actually scrutinize the process flow and the number of days that would take in the event that you have a committee that would want to make an amendment to the appropriations bill. Because if we're not careful, that would actually throw the entire budget process out. We would not be able to pass the budget, say, by the end of June. Uh, it means we need to work the process backwards for the future and develop, say, a, a framework that is going to assist us in the event that in future we have a, a one or two or even more committees that want to to say amend the appropriations bill and as it is the responsibility of parliament to do so i think i think there must be a development of that framework uh, chairperson but fortunately in this case as honorable kaiso and honorable matafa are saying and as as the horse has already indicated there's really no amendment these are, are purely to a large extent governance issues uh, which obviously Parliament has to find a way. Uh, I want to ask a question. Even if, say, the, the committee does not want to make an amendment to the appropriations bill per se, should then the committee, if they are not happy with the issues and they feel they've been flagging them for a while, should the committee, even if, say, they don't have any appropriate, the matter has nothing to do with the appropriations, must they now go ahead and say we support the budget, even if, uh, their feeling is not to support the budget, even if they don't have a specific appropriations matter to, to raise. Are questions that we as this institution and probably this committee, as we seek to develop this process, must grapple with and seek to answer. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank, thank you so much, Honorable Nkwankwa and Honorable Members. Uh, before I, 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 I go back to, to, to the director to see if there's anything that he wants to say, uh, any other member would like to have a bite? Or members? Thank, thank you. Uh, back to you, uh, uh, Dr. Chanches. I don't want to continue with this uh, host thing. We may end up being the host. I'm sure all those of us who are older, there was a guy who used to be a good uh, soccer player, uh, the host. So, yeah, I have never heard of your, of your football skills, but continue mm -hmm. directly. Maybe you must invite the committee in my, when I play football match. Maybe you you will you will decide yourself. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Chair Members. I think Chair, I agree with our members with the matter. I think that the issue which we discussed quite a, at length with our legal colleagues is around that to say what are the process that um, the Money Bills Act, you know, enables parliamentary committee, parliament other parliamentary committees to engage on on the the possibility of proposing amendments. And I think it's a very important matter which has been coming on for quite a long time. Since 2018, there were concerns around how to give effect to that. In my view, our view is that I think the rules would allow, setting the rules of process will allow within the money base that can actually allow the process where uh, we, uh, the committee can already indicate to the standing committee on the appropriations earlier on within the budget uh, that these are the concerns that they have. And that has to be be considered in, 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 the, in, the, in the regard. And I agree also, Chair, that the Parliamentary Budget Office was established to support Parliament in this regard. And we, we, we are happy to, 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 to be made aware of these matters well in advance. And so if we look at our capacity, we'll be ready to, to do that. Uh, but I'm glad that we're talking to Appropriations Committee, which will ensure that we've got enough capacity to handle such concerns. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You, you, you are not going to leave the opportunity ne, to ask for, for more budget. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm, I'm sure honorable members again with, um, um, with, with, with our study tour to South Korea, uh, we realized how important this uh, office is, but not just the office uh, to ensure that it, it's, it's well uh, capacitated. I think that's very important. I think the point is, is made, uh, 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 Dr. Janchis, um, and uh, it looks like as we go forward, uh, there'll even be more and more uh, requests for uh, intervention on a number of things. So, honorable members, um, <clears throat> um, and uh, um, honorable Kwanko, in 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 the in our recommendations, you'll see there's there's something to that effect that uh, I I I'm 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 putting 
we, we may just need to fine tune it as we get to it to see whether it covers the issues that you are raising. I think that's 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 very important. But generally, I I think um, uh, Dr. Janchis, um, the uh, the training um, of of the members of Parliament, because all of them get affected by what we do here, as to what we can do by when and so forth. It's very important and, and about the responsibilities of the different committees, especially the, st the standing committees, finance and, and, and appropriations. I think we, we need to do that. I'm saying that as we approach the end of, 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 of this term, it may be important that you start preparing for that uh, uh, <clears throat> for the incoming uh, members of parliament uh, next year. But thank you very much for availing yourself and, and, and your team. So uh, our members, we conclude this one. <clears throat> We conclude this one by by saying we know we noted these these issues, but uh, uh, definitely they do not affect the, uh, 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 the the budgetary process as far as the standing committee on appropriation is concerned. I'll I'll then write back to the speaker, informing her about the decision that uh, we took based uh, on a number of uh, advices. But thank 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 you very much. Right. Um, <clears throat> Let's let's go to the next agenda item, uh, 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 Darren. Desirability of the bill. Let me see. Yeah, bro. Motion of desirability, 2023 appropriation bill. That in the opinion of the committee, the legislation is desirable to appropriate money from the National Revenue Fund for the requirements of the state for the 2023-24 financial year to prescribe conditions for the spending of funds withdrawn for the 2024-25 financial year before the commencement of the Appropriation Act for the 2024-25 financial year and to provide for meta incidental there too. Thank you, honorable members. Uh, motion of desirability. Can I have the mover for the adoption? Matafa moves. Seconder. Mm, Lenza seconds. Honorable Lenza and a second. Any other position, honorable members? Uh, Chairperson, please note that the DA reserves its position. Can we note the DA's position? We are going to persuade DA along the way. Um, oh, uh, Chair. Yes, okay. Please note the abstention of the EFF. EFF uh, up, 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 abstains. Thank you, Honorable Tangwini. Any other? House Chair. Honorable Kwankwa. I noticed to abstain at that. I knew that's bad. Thank you, uh, on, on Honorable Kwankwa. Um, let's 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 note those position, honourable members. Uh, <clears throat> the motion of desirability is actually adopted. Thank you, honourable members. We'll go to the next uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, agenda item. That is the the, the draft report. Honourable Kwan, are you saying something? I see your hand is up. Please take it down. It's an old hand. Sorry, it froze. I'm taking it down, sir. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, remember, you you know how we do it. We'll we'll start on page one. Um, Darren, let's go to page one. Right. Remember, we'll go page by page. Uh, if there's anything, please uh, stop stop Darren. Let's go to page one. This just stop. Page one. Page two. Go. Page two, uh, Darren. Okay, just stop there, Darren. Darren, can, can you increase the little bit? It's too. Are you able to from your side? Uh, what is on my side? Okay. One page two of members. Page three. Let's go. Yeah, that's better. 
Chairperson. Yes, honorable. Uh, please pardon honorable. me. The, the gadget that I am uh, using. Yeah, boy. It doesn't have the page uh, set up. Uh, but uh, if you could, when you reach uh, six and seven, if we, you could be a bit slow, when you are on paragraphs uh, six and seven, that is the uh, findings and observations and uh, the recommendations. I, I okay. think I would have a take there. Thank okay. you. But can you see on the on the right hand bottom, the numbers, you don't see them. It's, they, are, they shouldn't depend on your gadget they, because they are written there, I'm just saying, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely uh, stop there, page four. Five, let's go to six. Well, apparently, what are they denied? Denied the time. Okay. okay, okay. Before we deny, please let's make sure we're all muted. We're all muted, all of us on the platform. Thank you. It was page seven. Let's go to the next page. That's page eight. Let's go to page nine. Sorry, Chair. Okay, Honorable Paiso. Just, just hold, just hold, Terrence. Honorable Paiso. No, no, Chair. I, I, I thought if I have heard Comrade, uh, I mean, uh, Mlanzana said he, he wants to raise something between pages seven and um, six and seven. So, no, no. Uh, no, no. Oh, it's, par it's paragraphs. It's paragraphs. paragraphs. Oh, paragraph. Recommendations and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you fine, Orabu Kaiso? Yes, That's I'm done. fine, Chair. Okay. That was page nine. Let's go to page 10. It was page 12. Let's go to page 13. Okay, just, just wait there. Just wait there. Um, um, Darren, did, 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 what, did this one end up being a 1.5 billion or 1.5 million?
So, Chair, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, I will, I will just have to double check that one again, Chairperson. Yeah. Um, Marco Pula, can you be checking that one? We spoke about this one during yesterday. Um, um, and and yeah, can you check whether is it a 1.5 million or 1.5 billion? As it stands, it's 1.5 million. So as we as we proceed, um, we'll we'll come back on this one. Just note before we adopt the report. Let's let's proceed. That was page 13. Let's go to page 14. Page 15. Page 16. Page 17. <laughs> it's a bit slower. Uh, you are too fast, Darren. Okay, continue. And okay, let's go page 18. Page 19. Page 20. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are now on, on uh, paragraph six. Uh, let's go slowly so that Orabun Lenzana, if you want to come in, you, you'll tell us. Okay, let's go to 21. Page 22. There we are, Chaperson. That's all. Oh, oh, okay. Who yes, there we are. Yes, yes. It's, sir, a bullet, uh, it's bullet 6.6. 6. Yes, you're having there. Go for it. Yeah, thanks, Chaperson. Chaperson, when I read the uh, 6.6 6, uh, as a whole, uh, the first sentence there, the committee notes the submission by FFC were in support of the increase of 11% in the total allocation to the cooperative, uh, cooperative uh, uh, governance. Let, let me stop there. Read that sentence with uh, the last sentence. Moreover, the committee is encouraged by the overall government allocation towards the social way, wherein more than 51%. Now, in brackets, 3.5 trillion. Now, my, 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 my attention is drawn there, Chairperson. That is possible. Let's put that 11% up there. Also, in terms of rents. Let's not just, if we are able to say, Chair, we have got more than 51%, which goes towards social weight, and we are able to capture the figure at that level. I, I want us to also capture the same figure of the 11% with, 
which goes to uh, cooperative uh, governance. Thanks, Chairperson. I'm not sure if it's feasible. I, I, I hear what, what you are saying. Um, <clears throat> the, okay, I, I, I think, uh, Therin, with 11%, put the round amounts, which, which is not this one, that the three trillion that we are talking about. 11% uh, is, is an increase, not the total allocation, whereas down there we've got the total allocation. So I think Oromlins, I would like to know how, how much is 11% in rand and cents? Am I correct, Oromlins? Yes, Mr. President. Exactly. You caught me. Yeah. So You caught me, Mr. President. You, you heard that, Darren? Please get um, uh, how much that 11% is I think it's it's somewhere in, in, in the tables above, but also put it here. <coughs> or yeah, let's 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 see. Yeah. Or somebody and somebody makes a quick somebody makes a quick calculation, 111% is equal to this three trillion and what was hundred percent, something like that. Okay, I'm hearing you. Can I I asked my colleagues just to check that figure so that I can insert it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what we're, we're saying. Let them just ask for you and then bring it back. <clears throat> okay, let, let's, thanks, thanks, honorable uh, uh, um, Lenzana. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the next page. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Just before, okay. Just wait. Uh, just wait. Seven point one. No, it's it's corrected. Seven point one has been corrected. No problem. Yeah, that's that's that's. It fine. was a typo error. Uh, it was a typo error, and it, it has been corrected. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank thanks. Uh, all members, I think there's um, uh, honorable. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> the issue that you 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 were raising and trying to factor in what you are recommending to PBO and so on. Darren, can you can you read seven point two? Chip, this this, this uh, I think, zoom thing is in my way. I I won't be able to read the whole, everything. Let me okay. just minimize. Let, let, let me read for you. Issue three, with the experience of portfolio committee on tourism, the committee, right? With the experience of portfolio committee on tourism, the committee recommends that parliamentary budget office develops a template and shape with portfolio and select committees, detailing the process to follow when considering something which may result in the amendment of money bills, including the appropriation bills. Right, that's, that's one. <clears throat> Yes. And then number 7.3, committees must consult the PPO for advice as soon as they realize their action may have impact on the money bills. This will assist parliament in ensuring contemplated changes are done in accordance with the law. Right? Okay. So the, those, those 7.2 and 7.3 talks to, to PPO. If I may particularly uh, 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 request to see whether what is covered in 7.2, 7.3 does cover what you are trying to say uh, we should recommend uh, should happen. And to all of you oral members, if there's something that you want to add around this thing. No, I agree, Chair, because then the template would include a process flow and the timelines and everything else. Agreed. Okay, thank you. So let's let's say we send point to 7.3. And then, yes, yes, uh, yes I'm, I'm not trying to, yes, uh, I'm not trying to take the, the committee back, but I'm, I'm checking the uh, 7.4. Uh, We're still going to eat. Uh, I just wanted to. Oh, okay. No, sorry, talk, sorry, about, sorry. talk about something different, right? So, so we are fine with 7.2 and 7.3, Kaiso. Honorable Kaiso? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine, Chair. Thanks. Uh, uh, then 7.4, right? 
they were saying the state of provincial and local road is deteriorating with huge impact on the cost of doing business and social impact to the citizens. The committee calls on the National Department of Transport to intervene to help the situation, especially where it is clear that provincial and local governments have no human or financial capacity. Um, that's, that's what was not there in the report that was circulated. Honorable Kai, so you then wanted to say something on 7.4, please come in. Yes, Chair, uh, I agree with uh, this point, it's, it's fine, but the only part that I am coming in is on the, the national department. Uh, I wonder if it will be wrong if we add water and sanitation because the, the situation which has been faced by roads uh, intervention is the same as the one of the water and sanitation because they have a similar problem at the local municipality level where they cannot be able uh, to move with speed when it comes to issues of water and sanitation. Given the recent developments, it's an experience. I, I'm just checking whether shouldn't we add water and sanitation there at, because we had uh, oversight and we had interacted with it. Thank you very much. Thank, 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 thank you so much. Uh, let's, make, let's make this 7.5 immediately after that, right? where we, we, we pick up the, the issue more or less in the, uh, uh, along the same way, Darren, uh, I'm sure you get, you, you see the drift, what we're trying to say, that the same thing, that the type of intervention and which I think the uh, Department of Water and Sanitation have, have started doing, but let's have that. Right, it's more or less the same um, <clears throat> way, 7.4, but now we are directing the, it to the to 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 water. Can somebody have okay. something? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. No, chair. I, I was I was about to ask if you want me to do it now immediately, or yeah. can I do but, it and then and then yeah. uh, send it to you or to the committee before I send the report off for for the ATC. Our members. It's fine, like, yeah, yes. yes, yes, honorable Sheikh Imam. Yeah, I've got my hand up. I think perhaps you didn't see it. I've got a few recommendations, so I don't know whether Darren will be able to deal with them now, or maybe you should do it once we have completed this and then send it to you. Thank you. Just, um, honorable Sheikh, just hold on. Um, let's 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 do this, right? I think uh, 7.5. We are saying more or less the same intervention we are calling for uh, in, 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 in Department of Transport, that's 7.5. Darren, work out that one. I'll tell you what you'll do about it, right? But remember, that's what we are saying. Let's hear what other uh, recommendations that Honorable uh, 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 Sheikh uh, wa <coughs> wants to add. Honorable Sheikh, please come in. Thank you very much, Chairperson. And before I say anything, allow me to extend our condolences to the family, to the ANC of our former chairperson. A very sad occasion indeed. Uh, yeah, my first one is chairperson is that, you know, I've had a hiccup with National Treasury. And for that reason, I believe that National Treasury will recommend that National Treasury make it mandatory for all spheres of government, local, provincial and national, on the National Treasury database to report monthly on all contracts that have been awarded together with the successful bidders, values of the contract and itemized billing. And uh, my understanding is according to National Treasury, it's a requirement, but they are not fulfilling it and it needs to be made mandatory. But the Minister of COCTA said it's not necessary. They are supposed to do it and they must do it. So I want your guidance here, Chairperson. How can we get National Treasury to enforce this through a recommendation that all these spheres of government dealing with procurement and things must report monthly through a, on, on, on a system that the public will be able to, you know, uh, uh, look at who's getting what and what is going on. That is the first one. Do you want me to go to the next one? Or, or, no, no. or let's, 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 let's deal with, the, with this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let, let's, let's deal with this one. Um, I, I know exactly what we are, what, what, what we are trying to deal with here. Yeah. Now, um, I'm, I'm saying if you take all the municipalities um, and all the provincial government and their departments, and 
we want all of them to report to National Treasury. Um, and let's look at the, the, the feasibility of that and so on of all the municipalities, you know how, 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 how big that cluster is and so on. Do you want all of them to report to National Treasury or we can try to, 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 get, to have the same um, outcome, but because you may end up all of them reporting, you find that uh, the, the information is just an overload of information, they end up not using it. What, 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 what do you think? Um, it's also open to, it's not a third of our members, you, we yeah. know exactly what Arab Sheikh is trying to do. Um, let's, but we must make it uh, again feasible and workable for whoever gets the information. Yeah. Can I, Chair, can I come in then? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chair, my understanding is in, in, in communication with Treasury and the Minister the other day of COCTA, it is a requirement, but none of them are doing it. But I would be quite happy for now if we call on all local municipalities to report on this for status. I think it will take us quite a, a, a long way in trying to eliminate or reduce corruption and that kind of thing. So I would be quite satisfied at this stage if we talk about all local municipalities to ensure that this is reported on the National Treasury database monthly, which is a requirement, I'm told, but they are not doing it at all. Okay, thanks, Honorable, Honorable Sheikh Imam. Um, on, uh, uh, Chairperson? Yes, Rom Lenzana. No, look, Chairperson, uh, I'm thinking also that perhaps this type of recommendations needs some fair uh, engagement. We need, we, need, we need some further engagement around this, Chairperson. Uh, Perhaps for now, if we can, perhaps use the mandatory clause as, as raised by Honorable Sheikh, uh, or not necessarily say the National Treasury uh, database, but to the Treasury database, because look, you do have the provincial treasuries, and also I understand perhaps Honorable Matava may come in. I understand that uh, a treasury uh, through uh, its own ways of in-year monitoring has got a way of linking at least with each district municipality and each department uh, at a provincial level. P perhaps if we could say, uh, in your monitoring is mandatory. Thanks, Chairperson. I'm think. Okay. Thank, 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 thank you. Um, any other taker? I'll, I'll, I'll come in. Any other taker? Let, okay. Let me check. Um, I think the main thing here, what Oral Rashek is saying, is that in any case, the, it is a requirement as things stand now. Uh, National Treasurer, do you want to have a bite on this one? National Treasury. I think I saw some someone from National Treasury. Okay, I um, um, look. <clears throat> I think let's honourable uh, uh, um, Lenzana. I, I hear you. I think let's let's leave it to this. At uh, this, we can always revisit the uh, uh, seven point six. But for now, I heard honourable Sheikh saying that in any case, it is it's mandatory. It's the only thing that is not being implemented. So let's, I think let's leave it for now, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't uh, uh, further engage with, with, with the item. Please, if you could allow that, thank you. Ram It's fine, Sir President. it's fine with me, thanks. Okay, thanks, thanks, ma'am. Uh, let's, let's go to 7.7. .7. Okay, next one, Honorable uh, Sheikh. Yeah, Chairperson, uh, the other problem that I have got is this, that the appears not to be a link between local government and national treasury, resulting in a, 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 a many, many businesses who are licensed through local government, particularly foreign businesses in South Africa that are evading tax. And as a result, there's a lot of illicit financial flows. So what I'm suggesting is that treasury must work on a system that must be directly linked. So everyone that applies for a business license must immediately be linked so that they can ensure that all these local, I mean, foreign businesses and things 
and other businesses that are not paying tax pay taxes and perhaps it might lead to a less of a burden on the current small percentage of taxpayers in the country okay yeah you are saying uh, immediately they apply or immediately they are awarded the license yes they should be linked to the national treasury they should have one database to identify them chairperson so that they become uh, immediately they must be uh, 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 comply with uh, tax requirements at the moment it's a free for all i can tell you these guys only deal with cash nothing else that's what's happening okay um do do want to write some write something and uh, <clears throat> let me see therein i able to to pick to pick up the what honorable sheikh is it's saying about the linking of businesses which are are uh, Uh, awarded licenses at the provincial at, at the local government level that they should be can I, can I um, ask mr sheikh to to send something to me via whatsapp chat okay okay Rav sheikh yeah as a recommendation yes, please uh, do, okay. do that yeah but we okay. we, we, are, we 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 concur with the, the trust of of your input okay chair and the next one is that national treasury biannually every six months a report on the financial status of every local municipality because what we are finding now the cash reserves are, 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 are becoming a problem and we're only hearing about the state of these municipalities when they are unable to pay salaries and wages and that kind of thing and meet their commitments so perhaps they should report to standing committee on appropriations or give us a report biannually or every six months on the financial status of every local municipality this 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 7.8 uh, um um 7.8 it's 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 about the uh, biannual report by national treasurer on the financial status of of local governments that is every six months national treasurer should report to the to the committee appropriation about the uh, financial status of all local governments financial position okay financial status okay of all it's okay yeah of all local governments or all municipalities if you like Okay, I will shake. Another one, Chairperson. Sorry to do this. Um, no. National Treasury, together with the Public Service Commission, to identify all uh, uh, public servants that are receiving two salaries that are employed in two di uh, different departments. Now, I know the Minister of Basic Education told me, and I know it's uh, that they are they should not be. But I can assure you, there's a whole lot of them. Why we have a high unemployment rate in the country, getting two salaries. So national treasury together with public yeah. service commission should identify these people yeah. for us yeah. just, and, and so that we can deal with it yeah. and advise us. Yeah. Just just before you write, Terin, I definitely think that that should fall out of national treasury. It's a department of uh, public service and administration. I think they are okay. the ones who put on that. Yeah. Okay. We should, we should be careful of giving everything to national treasury. They'll end up not being able. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Chairperson, National Treasury, to that's report that's, to... That's Chairperson, sorry, I'm, I'm lost now. Yeah. Mr. Sainty Mamas, please give these things in writing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I can't type while he's explaining and stuff. Okay, but let me tell you what the, the, this one say. Yeah, right? Uh, that is public service and administration, right? Um, yeah. Uh, to, to identify... Public servants who get two salaries. I think that's what. But you'll 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 correctly write it, Rabul Sheikh. But that's that's okay. That's the gist, that's the gist. Okay. Yeah. That's the gist of and it. lastly, Chairperson, if you're ready for me. Yeah. National Treasury must report to Standing Committee on Appropriation on the latest development as far as the integrated financial management system. Those that have been brought to book. How many of them have been charged? If you remember, there was a whole overlook about this and how they've been paying invoices, and it's just been hushed, quietened, and we hear absolutely nothing about it anymore. 
We don't know where it went, what happened, what happened to the investigation, who were found guilty, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, how many have been charged? Okay, okay, that's fine. Is, is this that one? <clears throat> mm -hmm. And whether we recovered any monies. Thank you. Is that it? That's it, Chairperson. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Then it's now my turn. Uh, oral members, uh, thank you for the inputs. I, I allowed oral members to come and make inputs here uh, because it's, 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 it's your last uh, appropriations um, committee meeting to deal with the appropriation bill. So if you didn't put it in here, uh, you are not going to have another chance of dealing with this bill, so I allowed you today. But having said that, uh, may I request that when the report is being sent, it, it's easier for uh, for the for Secretariat to pick up what we are saying. Uh, please, especially the recommendation side, look at it and and send send the recommendations uh, to the uh, uh, to the to the to the Secretary. So yes, highlighted those things, honourable uh, 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 Sheikh. Please look at them so that we make sure that they are, they are, they are properly, uh, they properly capture what we wanted to say. But uh, that's the thrust of, of, of what it is. And we, are, we agree with that, with that input. Thank you very much. Let's, let's go. Let's go on then. Remember, has any other matter on this one, on the recommendations? No. So let's move. Thank you. Um, let's go down, uh, Darren. Um, you will, Darren. Once, once you have agreed on this thing, please just uh, um, send out the, the corrected version to the honorable members um, and send to me, then I'll, I'll okay it that it can be ATC, right? Go ahead, Darren. Agreed, Chairperson. Okay. Okay, let's go. Here's the committee recommendation on the bill. Let's go. Go down, go down, Darren. Other members, with the amendments, well, not even the amendments because it was drafted in any case. Here, here is the 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 the, the proposed report uh, placed before yourselves. Can I have the mover for the adoption of the report? Shake your mom with amendments. Honorable Mlenza uh, seconds. Honorable Mlenza and a second. Okay. Any other view, honorable members? Chair. Honorable Changwini, please come in. Can you please note the extension? The extension of the EFF? Abstention of EFF is, is noted. UTM. The abstention of UTM is it's, it's noted. Our members, I didn't I didn't hear. Um, I take it that's 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 ev ev everything. Everyone has expressed his or her views in the position of the party. Okay. Our members. Um, 2023 appropriation bill is adopted by the committee and it will then be forwarded uh, to parliament. Thank you, thank, 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 thank you very much. This takes care of, of this agenda item. Let's go to the next agenda item. It's the minutes, what's the date of the minutes? Uh, Minutes of the 26th of May 2023. I place the minutes of the 26th of May 2023 for the committee. Any mover for the adoption? I saw Moshe. Honorable Tobias. Honorable Mezi, second. Okay. The minutes of the 26th of May 2023 are to be adopted. Minutes of 30th May 2023, mover for the adoption. I'm from the moves. Honorable the moves. Seconder. I second, Chair. Honorable Tobias, second. 
the minutes of the 30th of May 2023 to be adopted. Or members, um, I, I will be writing to the speaker, as I said, and uh, responding to the letter and the task that was given at, 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 at to, to, to the committee. Do we have any uh, announcements, uh, Darren, Mashile? Chairperson, uh, this is supposed to be our last meeting for the term, um, but we've still got uh, an outstanding matter, and that is the report on the uh, oversight visit to Transnet and Prasa. So I don't know um, if we are going to consider the report uh, during this term, or are we extending it, leaving it over for next term? No, I, 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 I don't like postponing things, um, I think uh, all members will we, we'll, we'll try and get the, 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 the date um, next week so that we, we, we can dispose of the matter and make sure that the matters of this term are dealt with and finalized before we start a new term. So uh, we'll communicate with the honorable members uh, in due course. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, and when is the debate? On the, the debate on appropriation bill is on Thursday, Chairperson. I, I, I understand that this being uh, the last uh, meeting chaired by the current chairperson on, uh, on the appropriation bill, uh, members of the opposition would be agreeing with the chairperson all the way. We are appreciating upfront honorable members. <laughs> we will just blow your kisses at the beginning of the debate, chair, <laughs> yes. as far as it goes. <laughs> Yeah, they are campaigning. They were supposed to agree with you. We've been working very well with these guys. I don't know. Honorable you, Kwan -Kwan, you must stop really wearing this red jacket. I agree, Comrade Tandy. Tobias, Tobias, Orange Tanguini is saying something to you. Just listen. What, what was that, Orange Tanguini? I am Tobias. We are well for us. Is all talking. I'm so so cold. We're talking yanninja. I I'm opposing them but on this one. I agree. Okay, I that, we agree to one. nothing. We oppose everything. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, who's, who's that? Was saying something about the red jacket of Orabunde Kwankwa? Uh, oh, fella, we have read in the UDM how we never gave. No, it, it was my self, Chepesil. Uh, um, I was like that. No, they are red. Right. Right. They've right. always been red. We must stop the red ties and red jackets. Ah, uh, but we've always been red long before the EFF was established. How? It's a beautiful <laughs> color. Remember, uh, uh, if if Honorable Kwangwa and Honorable Tlangwini uh, decide to wear the colors of the Communist Party and Kosatu, why why are you? Fighting them. Remember, this brings us to the end. We of are more the... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Bye bye. Bye. Long live the chair. <laughs>